So in an appearance on Newsmax, Dave Rubin is going to try to argue that it is absurd to put trans women and cis women in the same category. Now, in order to bolster his point, he's going to try to purposefully misgender the trans woman who he's talking about. The problem is that he keeps making a mistake and doing the logical thing, which is to use the pronouns that she prefers. And by the end of this clip, you're going to see that even he doesn't find his own argument very compelling. Take a look. This example of the uh, Jeopardy champion, Amy Schneider. She became the first woman to win a million dollars. She's a trans woman, of course. And, you know, is this really- well, Let's be clear, she's a male. I'll even, uh, yes, she's a male. I mean, even the, the ridiculous know, way, say. look, a bi, here's the, let's just try to do it factually, right? A biological male, who someone who was born a male, who then chose to transition to be a trans woman, that's then the definition of a trans woman once you transition, uh, became the Jeopardy winner. Now, she's not she he in essence right if we're right. trying to do this factually correctly is not the first female winner because she or he however you want to do it is a trans woman not not, right, that's the th not that a biological woman. So congratulations, feminists. You're going to have all the swimming champions will be biological men. The Jeopardy champions will be biological men. We have our, our deputy health secretary. Yes, the first, uh, they, right, exactly. She's that, a biological she's man. She's the first four-star admiral or whatever it is in the public health service, and they're making a big deal about it. Amy Schneider here winning a million dollars. But the men, the, the biological, the cis males, <laughs> as they're called, right, they've won four and a half million dollars on Jeopardy. So I, again, I think this goes back. Right, right so by male standards. Right. Hmm. It's almost like it's easier to not be an asshole and just respect people's pronouns. It's almost like you instinctively used she, her pronouns for that woman you were discussing because she's a woman. I mean, imagine a society where we only use pronouns based on people's genitalia. I mean, if you're talking to someone on the phone, you can't see what they look like. And perhaps they have a voice that isn't necessarily too masculine or feminine. So you don't know. So are you going to ask them, hey, um, I'm sorry, let me just pause for a second uh, while we're having this conversation. Do you have a dick or a pussy? I'd like to know so I can use the proper pronouns. No, you just use the pronouns that they ask you to use. And in public, you know, you will use cultural signifiers, gender signifiers to use pronouns unless they otherwise say, I want to use these pronouns. I just, I don't get why this is that hard. In fact, it's more difficult to be an asshole as Dave Rubin is demonstrating, and even uh, Ben Shapiro, he tried to do the same thing. He tried to purposefully misgender Laverne Cox, and he made this mistake too. Transgender woman from uh, Orange is the New Black. I never watched that show. I've never watched that show either, but she's on the cover of Time Magazine. Oh. Or he's on the cover of Time Magazine. Yeah. So, time and again, these conservative dipshits have proven that it is easier to just respect people's pronouns than to base the pronouns that you're using off of what they have between their legs. I mean, if you see somebody who presents as a woman who is seemingly feminine, at least visually, I mean, does it really make sense to call that individual a man? I mean, they look like a woman, but they have a penis, so you're you're going to base it off of what's between their legs? We don't, uh, again, we don't do that, right? We don't do that in society. And they're proving that we don't do that in society. We don't base gender and pronouns off of what is between people's legs. So they're just proving our point for us. But I've got a little um, message to Dave Rubin. While you're on Newsmax, why don't you go ahead and ask him the way that he feels about homosexuality? Why don't you ask him how he feels about you being married to a man? Because uh, I, I believe that if you asked him this, I would guess. Now, this is just a guess. I would guess that he would say, mm, actually, yeah, I find that gross and weird. I find it as, if not more weird, than transgender people. And, you know, Dave Rubin knows this. Dave Rubin knows that right-wingers are explicitly anti-LGBTQ. They've been antagonistic towards LGBTQ people since the dawn of time. And so Dave Rubin is saying this specifically because he wants more clout with the right-wing audience that he's cultivated for himself, even if he knows it's wrong. And we know that he knows it's wrong because other people who are conservative and LGBTQ say that right-wing political commentators don't actually believe the bullshit that they're saying. One thing about LA is there's a lot of work here. So a lot of other political commentators, other people who you guys know, I'm not talking about obscure people here. A lot of them either live in LA or they're constantly in and out for work, filming something, doing whatever they do. Um, so I've met almost all of them. People have either been on their show or on a show with them, or I went to a dinner with them, an event with them, or I became close with some of them. The amount of them that I've met that have told me either directly or in a roundabout way that's very clear, 
um, that they don't believe everything that they say that they believe when they're on camera. A lot of them just flat out don't believe. <laughs> they're just actors. They're just actors. I don't know how else to put it. I had one person who I went on their show and um, and I was in the green room, which is like the makeup room before you go on camera. The host of the show comes in and it's like, hey Blair, you know, small talk. Hey Blair, I wanted you on for a while. So glad you're here. Nice to meet you. Let's take a picture, blah, blah, blah. They pull me aside and say, I just want you to know, Blair, I don't feel any negative way towards you or trans people. I know we talk negatively of trans people a lot on the show, but that's just because it's kind of what the fans want. But it's just kind of where we're at right now. And I was taken aback because I felt like that's really fraudulent that you would feel the need to go on air and say something negative about trans people or transgenderism or whatever, but it's not really how you feel. He also said he has like a trans cousin or something like that and that um, he feels bad that they're the butt of every joke on his show or whatever. And I was like, but almost every person I met after him is almost always consistently like that. Because you start learning things like, oh, almost all of them hire people to tweet and Facebook posts and Instagram on their behalf, tweeting out opinions on their behalf, which I feel like is unethical because if people are following you because they believe you're some intellectual and they trust your opinion and they're gonna shape their opinions a lot of times on an issue based on your opinion and it's not even actually your opinion, it's something that you paid someone um, to assume is your opinion and, and you're so much of a rigid like binary thinker that it's easy just to pay someone like yeah tweet out the standard response and this is what it is it's like i don't respect that now to be fair i don't know if she's talking about dave rubin but if i had to guess i would say it's highly likely that one of the few lgbtq plus conservatives is going to trust and confide with another lgbtq plus conservative and we know Dave Rubin, he used to be a liberal. He's saying the opposite now of what he said five, six, seven years ago. And he's doing all of this for money. He's aligned with people who hate him and his community because he chose money over his own community. He even gave uh, Trump Jr. permission to use the F slur against him. So look, he made his bed. So he's got a lie in it. I hope that every single day he walks into the office at the Blaze TV they make him feel like shit. I hope that he knows that they think he's inferior. I hope he cries himself to sleep. I hope they use gay slurs on him. Fuck Dave Rubin, because you chose this. You chose these bigots over your own community and your own life. And you are now perpetuating the propaganda and bigotry that was once used to keep you down, to prevent you from marrying your husband. The same arguments that were used to legally discriminate against gay men and women are now being used to discriminate against trans men and women and non-binary people. And he's fine with that. He's fine using the same tactics that were previously meant to keep him down, to keep down trans people. It's truly morally reprehensible, but when you are only thinking about money and you only care about your own career and fame, you know, um, maybe you do really disgusting, despicable things, but at the end of the day, Dave Rubin has to live with himself. And I know that as a gay man, he's not happy with the choice that he made to be a conservative when conservatives don't actually take him seriously and they do think that he is inferior. So the same things that he's saying about trans women, conservatives are saying about him. So he knows this, he feels bad about it, and good, he should because what he's doing is fucking gross. You can't even have a preference around a liberal. A liberal um, homosexual says, well, you should accept my lifestyle. But if you say, well, I accept your lifestyle, I just don't want my kid to be one. Well, you're a bit. Well, wait a minute, I accept the fact that you wanna be homeless. I don't want my kid to be homeless. <laughs> I accept the fact that you wanna smoke crack. I don't want my kid to smoke crack. What do we do from here? What do we do from here? Like, I think most people, I think a lot, I know a lot of my audience is gonna hear you, really hear you and go, this is the type of stuff that I think needs to be heard more. And I think that the group of people that are talking about this stuff is actually growing. I, I do mm -hmm. see this. At the same time, the people who don't want to hear us are getting more and more hysterical because that's all they got left. Even said, they hate Dave Rubin because he's a gay man with the wrong opinion. Dave Rubin is gay? No! He got a husband? I did not know. I was in his presence. I didn't know. I shook his hand. Ah, I sat down with him. Why would y'all tell? Why did y'all tell me before I went on this show? Ideas. 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 Ideas.
right, 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 right,